Hi all, so I'm back today with a new series here that I'll be offering on YouTube as well as I'll be offering over on Patreon. So even if you're not on Patreon, you will still be able to get a lot of this series over here and we'll have a lot of fun. So this is a Jelly Junkadori and as you can see here, I'm showing you how I actually sewed some fabric down onto the back of a jelly print that I had. And I literally sewed around the four sides and then I sort of crisscrossed the stitching on there I'm just back and forth so I could grab a lot of the fabric. This is some cloth that I have that I really, really love. It's like antique and vintage African Swooza cloth, and which is just a really beautiful cloth. It's pretty expensive and it's hard to find when you find panels or big ones and you wouldn't want to cut them up. But I had a girlfriend who um, is a um, designer and I had bought stuff from her a number of years ago, the off cuttings because she used it in garments that she sold for thousands of dollars. And so I bought bags of the off cuttings and I've used it so many ways, but I thought what a great way to use it here on this journal. So you can see there I laid out the things that are going to be needed, all a metal ruler, a hole punch, a pair of scissors, some of that black elastic, um, it's the sort of, I think it's called rope elastic or whatever, but you can buy it at Joann's, any fabric store. And um, the linen, the wax linen is that burgundy thread that you see there, but you can just use, you can even use um, embroidery floss, but you must wax it. Now here you can see where I sort of measure right to the middle of the book, and I'm taking this book all, but you can use a really thick needle, or you can use a regular would all just don't go all the way through because they're kind of thick and so I put a couple of holes right at the top about it's approximately a quarter of an inch in you know more like a sixteenth of an inch in I'm sorry more like an eighth of an inch in and then about a sixteenth of an inch between the two holes there that you see me doing and when I run the, the thread, the elastic through, it's going to make more sense because it's going to, you're going to be able to see it better. So you make two holes at the top there and two holes at the bottom and one in the middle. And this is the Midori style journal. And many of you have seen the Midori style. So I'm showing you how to make that same style journal, but we're doing it here with fabric. Of course, you can do it with leather. Um, you can do it with some Tyvek. Fab, uh, the, the Tyvek that you use in construction because that takes paints and stuff nicely but you probably would still want to back it with like one of your jelly prints or something to make it pretty or you can actually sandwich the jelly prints between the Tyvek because the Tyvek is very strong so it'll just give it a lot of um, strength. So now I'm getting ready to show it. I'm sorry it's slightly off frame. When I was recording this I tried to keep it in frame. But now I'm sort of measuring out a length of cord. And basically what you just, you stretch it, you saw me stretching it there against the width of the book. And then cut it a couple of inches longer so that, you know, you can kind of fool with it and make it as tight as you need. Here I'm measuring it twice the height of the book. That is going to give you plenty to work with because when we go to run it through and we tie it off, you'll see as we use it for the inserts, you want those inserts to be tight. So we'll even use less than this, but that's a good amount to get started with. So right now I'm probably looking for a thicker needle. So in this case, you can use like in an embroidery needle, anything with a large hole, but not really a big thick um, shaft on it. You kind of want it to still be a bit narrow so it'll go through your holes, but at the same time, um, we're able to push it right through. Now, I used a book um, hole punch. That hole punch that you saw me pick up with the brown handle, that is a book binder's hole punch. It's what they call a screw punch, and you literally can just punch it right through and it removes. Um, 
material so you have a nice hole. If you don't have that, you can just use your needle to make a big enough hole and then use your needle to, to um, thread through the holes. In this case, I'm just using the cord because my holes are large enough and they'll pretty much get right through there even though the fabric's getting in the way a little bit. So I think I end up going to a needle here, as you can see. So you can use the needle, but it, you know, you can use either. If you have a really small hole punch, because you want the hole to be small, like around the width of that cord. You don't want a really big hole that comes with traditional hole punches. But if you have something that makes a small hole, that'll be good. It's a little tough getting it through because I'm going through that fabric. So, um, as you can see here, I'm looking at it and I realize that, oops, I, I took the elastic through the wrong way. So I'm taking it out. I'll get this right for you guys. So let's go back. We really, once you bring the hole in from the outside in, you want to run the length on the inside. So you see how I have a long piece of black in the inside? That's what you want. And now we're going to take it through one end back in through the next hole that's right there next to it so I'll have a short stitch at the top and I'm going to have a short stitch at the bottom and here again I'm probably going to need to use that needle because that hole is hard to make even though I did remove some material with the um, just by pushing it through but that it went through that time so let's see And this is actually how you make the Midori style journals. Um, there are tutorials on YouTube showing this. There are lots of them um, showing you how to actually use leather if you want to use leather. Um, so please go and check those out. But I wanted to show you how I was doing my Jelly Junk Adori with fabric so that you can use up scraps of fabric. Um, if you're not into leather, this is an option. And it's a great option for using our jelly print. So you see I didn't make it too tight, just tight enough to hold it off because we're going to adjust it when we get to the video in which I'll show you how to insert pages because we'll be working with this journal moving forward and we'll actually do jelly junket journaling <laughs> out of it. So here we're just going to take and put a needle you see I tied a needle off and used a little bit of thread I used some of the um, the wax linen and then I'm going to tie a knot at the end of the black cord this is how I string the whole cord through that hole because it's a pretty small hole it's kind of hard to get it through so if you just use a needle with a thread and loop the black cord inside the loop of the thread and tie the thread off and make a knot with it then you see how I can just pull it through. Got to tug at it a bit, but it comes through. And see how the whole cord came through. So then I cut off the this thread. It's kind of hard to see. I'm not cutting the black cord. I'm cutting the thread that I threaded through there. Okay. And now I have my elastic on the other side, which we'll use to cut our cover our journal off with. Now I will leave the dimensions for this journal below the video. I'm just making it sort of a standard um, size using just standard size eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. It makes it a little easier so we're not having to just cut a lot of paper down. So I just thought it made the most sense. Here I'm showing you already a folio and I'm showing you how we're going to use all, um, envelopes. We'll be using our jelly junk, our jelly um, papers. We'll photograph and a photocopy. I'm sorry, our jelly papers. You can actually use real jelly papers. I'm using a combination of ones that I photocopied. If I have ones that I don't want to cut up, but I love the prints and I want to use them in my jelly junk adori, as well as if I want to be able to use actual off printings, you know, ones that you don't really care about, or we'll be using a lot of things in here, but we'll be using this to write quotes in, inspirational things. So here we have it, guys. Um, the, the final journal using this beautiful fabric. 
And this journal will have two inserts in it. So I just showed you one. Begin pulling your papers together after you make this journal. I'm going ready to show you some paper, the type of papers that I photocopied and used in my journal here so that you can have an idea. This page right here has a number. You can see the kind of papers. These are actually old books, jelly prints, envelopes. These are all photocopied papers that we'll be using in here. So these are some ideas for you to get started on. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.